Yes. Sure. And some other things, but I want to be sure to ask. I'm, I'm sure you've seen the um, article in The Guardian quoting Michelle Sibide of UNAIDS. Sibide. Oh, well, okay. Uh, what I wanted to ask you is he seems to be attacking those who came forward in the sexual harassment case against Luis Luras. He's attacked them. He said that Luras is a, he is, is made a courageous decision, and of his detractors, he says, we know these people are taking their golden hand handshakes from us here and knowing they have a job and then attacking us. We know all about that. We know every single thing. Time will come for everything. When I hear anything about abuse of our assets, I ask for an investigation. Maybe these investigations are going on. And so many staff and many people in the, in the, the Me Too movement see this as a direct threat against those who came forward. And I wonder, what is Antonio Guterres, who I'm, I, I was, would assume is a reader of The Guardian, what does he think of these comments? Uh, we're, we're aware of this article. Uh, obviously, it's for uh, UNAIDS and Mr. Sidhame to explain uh, what what the comments attributed to him are. Regard, regarding what are the responsibilities are of UN officials are, we've made it very clear that we want to make sure that all accusations are heard, that anyone who has complaints comes forward and feel free to come forward, and that no one uh, denies them that right. Uh, the Secretary General has made that clear, and he's made that clear to the other officials of the UN system. On the issue of investigations, uh, given what you said yesterday, and I took time to digest it, and I've also heard from some people that were surprised by it. I want to just, just to, so to be clear, the U you said the UN can absolutely investigate per perceived leaks because it deals with confidential information, I, if I take you correctly. I mean, you, you said that it can do that, but you seem to also claim that no one is retaliated against. So the two things I wanted to know is, when can the UN investigate? Is, does it have to be information labeled confidential? Can it be, in what cases does it, and, and if the Anders Compass case or the Miranda Brown case or the Emma Riley case, these are all cases of retaliation. So can you, can you explain what you were saying yesterday? With the cases you're referring to, these are cases where the system itself examined what was happening. We do that in compliance with our rules and our procedures, and we certainly make sure that all the whistleblower protections are put in place. That is why we look into those individual cases. What you were talking about was a general question of, can leaks be investigated? And with the United Nations, as with any other entity, you have the right to do that to make sure that the confidentiality of sensitive documents is, is protected. So, for example, the UN's request to the, to the 1718 Committee for a waiver and the use of a correspondent bank that was leaked, and I did publish it, can that be investigated? Is that considered... What's, does, it, does it require the, the showing of harm to the UN to the, investigate those, it? Or? Those are ultimately the judgments that are made by relevant officials. It's clear as with any number of institutions, where, whether state institutions or private institutions, that documents leak out. But it's also clear that for the diplomatic work of the UN to continue, member states have to feel secure in the, in the confidentiality of many of those communications. And so that is a judgment that individual managers will have to make. So is it member state information? I just realized a lot. Is it, 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 is it, like information I said, it's, it's, it's a decision. From member states? It's a decision that managers would have to make in terms of what they feel is, is important. Can you see why with, with the UNAIDS guy's comment about I can investigate my enemies, why the two put together an, an unfettered or unclear ability to investigate any leak combined with threats from UN officials to investigate any opponents might be problematic? There, there is no effort, and certainly there is no uh, uh, encouragement to any sort of effort to, uh, to pursue people who are making complaints. The, those are something that's something that's entitled within the system, and as you know, there are a series of protections throughout the system for people who make complaints uh, about issues of, at the workplace, whether sexual harassment or otherwise. At, again, I'm, I'm just stressing the basic point of principle that, that the UN does have the right, just as a point of principle, to protect the confidentiality of its, of its communications. Yes. 